Well, like they uh, said at halftime, it all started when my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer about six years ago, and it's it's grown exponentially since. And this year we've over seventeen thousand dollars in one night. It's just amazing. But I can't thank Notre Dame and uh, their community enough because they're the ones that really help make this a special night. Well, one thing with our kids is they don't give up. They keep fighting, keep scrapping, and uh, they, you know, it makes up for a lot with their hustle. And, uh, any particular players? Um, I think Olivia got the MVP. Uh, uh, well, she got the character award. Um, yeah, and she's she's been our go-to girl, you know, all season long. But McKenna Johnson stepped up, a ninth grader, had a, had a real good game, and and in all of our girls, we really look forward to this game, and uh, you know, it's it's one of the highlights of their season. Oh, it was a great event to be in front of a big crowd like this. Um, there's cancers affected everyone's family in one way or another, so. To see the support that's out there for not only um, you know the people who who passed away from cancer, but the survivors to recognize them, I think was a was a great tribute. So, yeah, our defense is kind of you know, with the exception of a couple games, has, has kind of helped us you know hang on and win games. Offensively, you know, we, we struggle sometimes to to put the ball in the basket, so that's something that we just have to work on to get better and and hopefully play you know, hard defense that, that'll keep us in games to give us opportunities to win on nights like tonight when we just can't uh, can't buy a bucket, so. Yeah, I mean, our girls, I, that's one thing that we, that we preach is resiliency and being tough mentally and physically. And, uh, you know, tonight was a night where they could have checked out and easily lost this game. The other night we played Oakfield, we got down, you know, big. Down by 18, we were able to cut it to four, um, and then kind of ran out of gas, and, and they they took back over. So, but that was again, that was another game that they could have hung their heads, and we could have lost by 30, 35. So, they're learning to be resilient and, and to fight through adversity. Uh, so, as they get experience and get get older, hopefully that'll turn into turn into a little bit uh, better basketball for us.